Hi, my friends. Uh, I am jumping on to read you guys a book. Today we're going to read Frida Catlow. Uh, I love this book. Um, someday you guys will read about Frida Kala, who was a female artist. Um, but this is kind of a fun version of it. And Frida Kala is actually a cat. So we have Frida Catlow. All right, I'm gonna get reading here. I hope you guys are all enjoying this amazing day. All right, Frida Catlow was a talented artist born in Meowsico City in 1907. She and her family lived in a house called La Casa Azul. And that is Spanish for, it basically means a blue house. Frida and her father, Guillermo, Guillermiao, sorry, were very close. He taught her all about photography. She would even help him develop photographs. And today with our book friends, I'm gonna um, give you guys a little art activity, which is actually why I'm reading this book. When Frida was young, she got into a clawful accident. She stayed home to heal and had a lot of time on her paws. Get it? Her paws. <laughs> She's a cat. She's got paws. Not hands. So, she spent it painting until her art was perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh -oh. She's a very talented artist. Frida's first paintings were portraits. She needed models, so she painted her sisters and her school friends. Portraits. They were portraits, which are pictures she drew of herself. But because she's a cat, they call them portraits. <laughs> Frida was inspired by her Meowxican heritage. She dressed in traditional clothing and often wore flowers in her fur. Clothing instead of clothing. Meowxico instead of Mexican. And flowers in her fur instead of her hair. It's silly. While she was in school, Frida met Doggo Rivera, a famous Meowxican artist. She showed him her art and they developed felines for each other. They developed feelings but in this book, we're gonna call them felines. Dago Rivero, which is another famous artist. His real name is Diego Rivera. Um, and Frida Catlow got married in 1928. Dago and Frida were painters of her entire nine lives, for her entire nine lives, because cats, they say, have nine lives. Ah. Hard to hold this video, friends. In 1939, Frida was invited to France to show her portraits at a gallery. And France is France, which is a country in Europe. Paris's most famous museum, the Louvre, bought one of her paintings. It was the first work by a Meowxican artist that they had ever purchased. So it was the first at the Louvre. It was the first Mexican artist. That was Frida Catlo. Frida Kala. Frida had a fervent love of animals and often included them in her portraits. She had a pet deer, two spider monkeys, a parrot, and an eagle. Oh my gosh, she sounds like me. If I could have all those things, I probably would. One of Frida's famous works features a spider monkey. It is called Self Portrait with Monkey and hangs in the Meowma in New Meow, New York City. <laughs> Sorry, these are silly. I want a portrait with a monkey. That's funny. You guys want a portrait with a monkey? Seems pretty silly. Oh, I missed a page. Ah! Sorry, I'm sitting on my front porch and it is a little windy, but it's just so nice out. Frida Catlett was often called a surrealist painter. 
However, Frida insisted that she only painted reality. Some of her most famous paintings include the Mew Fridas, A Few Small Catnips, and Doggo and I. Frida Catlow is one of the most famous female painters of all times. Although she didn't sell any didn't sell many portraits during her lifetime, many of her paintings are now worth millions. Sure, one day in school you guys will learn about her. I learned about her in school. Her paintings can be seen in museums from Whiskerton, DC, which is Washington, DC, my friends to Meowxico, which we talked about earlier, is Mexico. <laughs> These are just silly plays on the words because they are cats. Fans of her artwork can visit La Casa Azul and see where she grew up. Her colorful style will not be forgotten. So they can go visit the blue house. La Casa is house, the house in Spanish, and Azul is blue in Spanish. And that is the end of our story, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying um, all of the fun at home and the weather. Ah! Um, I will um, add an art activity for you guys that I hope you will do and share with us. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are getting outside. There's so many fun things to see outside. Um, we are doing hiking at our house we're finding all the local hiking trails um to go and do so hopefully you guys are getting out there um print off a scavenger hunt maybe and go do some scavenger hunts outside all right bye my friends